this actually came from a um it stemmed from a uh, nine minute long short called um Palooka, actually that yes. was done in two thousand two. And if you subscribe to our Patreon, you can see our, our reactions to it as we do our watch There you go. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to watch the watch it along with us, head on over to patreon.com slash why does this exist and donate a little bit of coin and we will give you a lot of bit of entertainment. You can watch that as well as many other watch alongs that we have. Well, not many other. We have about four up there. We have about four up there now. We will have five ish when um when when Palooka ends up coming up um and that doesn't mean that doesn't just mean watch alongs to um to shows or movies or shorts or things like that we also have a little bit of excess banter that we did not that we chose not to put on the podcast last week mm-hmm. it was really just like testing stuff that we thought was funny and we threw up there it's not offensive it's not anything like that oh this is Nick, this is not safe for tv so we got to put it behind um, b- behind our Patreon and put give it to the people who really love us. It's it's just something funny that we thought was actually like pretty golden. So we just threw it up as uh, as extra content for you wonderful people. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> um, but this but, was made on yeah. Paducah, uh, P- Paluka, 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 Paducah yeah. is an is a part of Kentucky. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, there was a. Um, there was a band that uh, that used to be on, uh, on on this forum that we used to be on called um, Thrash Unlimited, which I miss. Mm-hmm. Um, and I I think their name was Executioner. I don't remember, uh, but they were from Paducah, Kentucky, and um, it was like a guitar. It was like it was like a guitar player, a bass player, and um, and like a drummer. I can't remember if they had a second guitar player, but. Uh, the guitar player and the bass player they ended up like they ended up actually like being in a relationship for a little while guy and a girl just for anyone who's curious so wouldn't you know who won the pony <laughs> <laughs> but palooka yes palooka was uh it it was interesting and you could and like the movie takes you know, direct things out of Palooka and just kind of expands yes. on them a little bit. Like the opening scene of Palooka is when he gets on the bus and he just like dangles the action figure out the window and it just kind of like dances which as is, it gets dragged by the bus, which is kind of weird, but funny in its own way. And shot for shot remade in Napoleon Dynamite. Pretty much. I think like the, almost identical. I think the only difference is that there's more kids on the bus. Yeah, Napoleon Dynamite, it's a full bus. And in Palooka, it's just two kids, I think, sitting at the back mm-hmm. that kind of talk to him. Um, and I think in – so in, in Palooka, John Heater plays – instead of Napoleon Dynamite, his name is Seth, but he's basically the same exact character. Oh, I didn't um, catch that. Yeah. Yeah, he's not Napoleon. He's actually called Seth, I believe. Um, but again, it's almost the same exact character, like – some of the lines are slightly different, but a lot of the you could very much see that it, that Palooka was just it was made into Napoleon Dynamite. Like Napoleon Dynamite is just a longer version of that, movie. right? And he um, um, there is no Deb in that, but there are there are two Spanish kids in mm-hmm. it, and and like they both end up because like one of them is called one of them is named Pedro, and I forget what the other guy's name is, but they have but they both have like sim have instances that happen to Pedro in the movie, like getting like like getting too hot and shave and then shaving his head and they have to get a wig for him yeah. that um yeah. you know that happens to like the other spanish kid but pedro just explains everything to him and both of those characters kind of became an amalgam for the pedro in napoleon dynamite mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, but there's only like a handful of differences in there the plot is just basically they need to help this other kid so they go to like a lot of they go to like a grocery store and they try to and Napoleon tries to buy a scratch off or uh-huh. Seth tries to buy a scratch off but the guy behind the counter clearly sees that he's not old enough so he like turns him down because they don't have money that's why they're buying a lotto ticket and yeah. then um and then the kid who they need to help because he's the only one and he's the only kid who has a mustache he goes in and he buys the lotto ticket no problem and then they end up getting like you know, ten bucks or thirty bucks or whatever it is, they go down to the store. They um and 
you know, they, they end up buying a wig. And I think one yeah. of the kids says Palooka, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Actually, what is Palooka? Does Palooka mean anything? I don't know. Palooka meeting right there. Uh... Okay. Wig. Oh. Look. All right, that makes sense. Yeah. That's okay. Now I know. Now there you go. And knowing is half the battle. Mm hmm. There you go. Our good friends, G.I. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't know. Maybe they'll be our friends. <laughs> <laughs> In these uncertain times, who knows what side G.I. Joe is really on? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and also what has G.I. Joe been tweeting <laughs> I have a feeling that, I have a feeling there's things that G.I. Joe once said that are no longer kosher in today's world probably uh, but I uh, I actually liked Palooka I, I thought that it was good I, I think like time wise that like it did all that it needed to do and it like it it was it was good but I like that it's um the interesting thing which I mean I guess this just happens in you know in in just independent films or shorts or something that they're in black and white this was also mm-hmm. shot in black and white and this mm-hmm. makes a lot of sense to what you said before about Napoleon Dynamite essentially being the clerks of its generation yeah like there's yeah. clearly an influence in especially Palooka. in Palooka. In Palooka, yeah, the influence really is think. very obvious. There, I mean, there's like a one shot when they're standing outside the convenience store or gas station, whatever it is, and it's like this wide angle shot, and they're all standing up against the wall, and it's like very clearly like this is Jay and Silent Bob standing in front of the <laughs> the the convenience store and Clerks, you know, um, almost exact same kind of like shot and framing, you know. Um, so I think, and the the store that they go into, the gas station, very much looks like the Quick Stop in Clerks. Like it looks almost identical. Like it's just that kind of like early two thousands, nineties kind of convenience store with the cigarette thing, like right above like the counter and stuff like that. And it's just you know, I, it clearly clearly influenced by Clerks. Um, I would say it's got to be intentional too. I don't think they did that by mistake. I'm pretty sure it was, you know, they were they were going for that. Mm. And I think they I think they succeeded, and obviously, mm-hmm. it ended up getting picked up to do a full movie, and they did a bunch of really cool stuff. 